All right, um, the disk sander, um, it's pretty simple. It's a very simple tool. It's a big motor connected to a big steel disk with the sanding thing stuck on it, um, and it spins. Uh, it's great for sanding kind of the opposite kind of stuff. There's that. Uh, anything that is you want a, you want a straight surface or uh, sanding convex things. Um, again, fairly simple. Um, come up to speed. You kind of like hear that that tick when it actually gets to speed. Um, this spins in this direction, so counterclockwise, um, which means that. Uh, from the center of the disc, which is right there, to that, that's kind of your working area um, because the disc is helping to hold your your work item down onto the table. Here, it's pulling it up, um, which is scary and dangerous. Um, so that's this is where you want to work. Uh, just because of the way spinning things work, there's very little the uh, rotation and stuff right here. So this doesn't actually sand very well right at the, the center. Um, this is where you get kind of the fastest moving sanding element. Um, that mm -hmm. tends to be most aggressive. And you can actually use that to kind of fine tune how aggressive you want to sand something. Um, this will has a tendency to like nick your knuckles if you're not careful. Um, as far as actually using this thing goes, you're holding you're holding your workpiece down on the table. Um, try and keep your fingers away from the disc if you can, um, and then just fairly simple idea, um, and it just gives you a nice smooth surface on whatever edge you want. Um, you can do curves like this. And it can also just do, if you just hold a piece against it, it'll do a nice flat surface. Um, it squares things really nicely, um, especially with the help of our friend the miter gauge. This is just a different looking miter gauge. There's a giant miter gauge right there for the table saw. Um, very expensive giant miter gauge right there. Um, in there. Um, again, you can set this at any angle you want. If you want to do 45s. 37s, whatever you like, whatever your flavor is. Just, just turn this handle, take it down, and uh, you can take this thing like this. This would be a little bit tough because, you know, I to get you, oh no, it doesn't get there. Um, but you can just use another piece of wood to kind of extend the miter gauge. So if I really wanted to sand this piece, um, you can actually. There, there, there's, there are holes here that you can actually kind of screw a, another piece of wood to to extend the fence to make it as long as you want. Um, that's what these slots are for here as well. Um, is so you can put, you can attach larger pieces of wood. Also, they can be sacrificial. So you can actually have this um, actually touching the sanding disc. Um, and something you wouldn't want to do with a metal mm -hmm. miter gauge. Um, unless you can use sacrificial things like that. Um, this will sand just about everything you can throw at it. Um, it doesn't really like sanding carbide. I've done that, but it, um, but it'll do whatever steel, aluminum, non-ferrous metal, wood, plastic, everything. It'll do everything. Um, it just will like the harder the material, the more robust the material, the quick, more quickly this will run out. Um, just because it's, it's a piece of sandpaper, just like any other piece of sandpaper. Um, this is a pretty aggressive disc on here. I think it's a 60 or 40 grit, mm -hmm. um, so it will eat quickly. Um, I have some more, um, but I'll just put them on for the time being. Um, I don't have it here because it's in the mail. Um, but there's a big thing that's going to be, it's going to live right here. Um, that's for both the sanders. It's essentially a giant eraser. Uh, it's a giant gum rubber stick. Uh, and what it does is it cleans the, the mm -hmm. sanding. It actually, it, like, just because there's buildup in here that you yeah. can't, you can't wipe off. Um, and you can see it on here, this buildup that's in the, that's in the grit of the, um, the sandpaper. And, 
just hold the eraser essentially up against the um, up against the tool while the tool's on that one or this one, and it'll remove that that build up. It prolongs the life of all the sanding elements because it doesn't pack in and then burn. Um, this will burn your work pieces. Um, it gets very hot. Your work piece will get very hot. Um, it, it just does that, <laughs> and you'll notice. You'll see it. Um, uh, I think that's about it. This will make a lot of a lot of sawdust. Um, there is a hose that connects to this that you can connect the shop back to um, to minimize sawdust in the shop, which isn't a bad idea. How about um, the angler there? Is that this? Yeah, just like just like the bandsaw, you can adjust the angle of the table. Um, you can adjust the the angle of the table on here. It's fairly simple. It's this is the tightening knob. You, so you untighten it and then you s rotate this. Um, it'll do, I think, 45 in each direction, um, either uh, away or towards you. Um, it gets a little bit more difficult to control your work pieces. Um, it's fine, um, but it does get a little bit more difficult, especially when you when it tilts up. Um, like when you get into these kind of scenarios and you're trying to sand something, um, having your fingers way the hell in here um, gets it, it gets diff yeah it gets difficult and uh, and a little bit dangerous, um, but you can do it if you choose to. And again, there aren't stops on this, so. Um, once you pull it out of square, like I just did, um, I mean there is, there are indicators on here, um, but they're not incredibly precise. Um, okay. okay, we're gonna leave this like this for now, and I'll fool around with it later. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's the drill press. Uh, this is a break. Um, if for some reason you need to stop the drill or the disc sander because your finger is stuck in it, or your workpiece is stuck in it, or even the shop is loud and relative to a lot of other tools, that's not that loud. Um, and this is still spinning at effectively full speed. And if you walk away from the tool and you've turned it off, um, and someone like walks over and doesn't can't hear it it's still going. Um, so even if you want to just stop it, kind of just like from a safety thing, you're about to walk away and there are a bunch of people in here using tools. That's not a bad idea. Um, and it's just a friction break, um, which is why it smells like that. Um, break pad. Um, so that's about it for the disc center. <laughs>